This is very likely the most glamorous festival of the year. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best dressed at the 2019 Cannes Film Festival. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at all celebs who really brought it for this year's big event. Number 10. Bella Hadid Bella Hadid is one of the world's most sought-after models and a celebrity in her own right, always stunning fans with her incredibly modern outfits. So it's no surprise that she made it onto our list for best dressed at Cannes this year. While Hadid typically skews to more minimalist and contemporary looks, such as her red Roberto Cavalli dress, she decided to veer towards the romantic for the dress she wore to the screening of Rocket Man at Cannes. The pale-hued gown was by Christian Dior and featured a tiered design, which we'll come to see was actually something of a trend at the festival this year. Number 9. Dua Lipa Dua Lipa is one of the hottest pop stars in the game, and she did not hold back when she walked the red carpet for the 2019 Amphar Gala at Cannes. Her dress was a quintessential Valentino couture look, made in the designer's signature crimson hue. The asymmetrical one-shoulder dress featured a tiered design as well as a sky-high slit that let the singer reveal a matching red stiletto underneath. If there's one opportunity to dress like royalty, it's at Cannes, and Dua Lipa took the chance and ran with it. Number 8. Julianne Moore Julianne Moore can basically do no wrong when it comes to her fashion game, always appearing on the red carpet looking elegant yet edgy. She proved once again that redheads look stunning in green in an emerald Dior gown with matching Chopard jewels. At the Cannes premiere of Les Miserables on May 15th, she wore a simple black dress designed by Louis Vuitton. But what made the outfit memorable was an embellished leather capelet from the designer's Cruise 2020 collection. Finally, at the Rocket Man premiere, she fittingly brought a bit of glitz with a flowing silver Givenchy haute couture creation with a pink overlay. Number 7. Asia Naomi King Asia Naomi King may not yet be a household name, but after her stint at Cannes this year, we have a feeling she'll be getting a lot more attention. Though she had some memorable ensembles from last year's Cannes, this year she made our jaws drop with one particular look. At the premiere of A Hidden Life, she wore a peach Zac Posen dress that made the starlet feel like a princess. With the subtle detailing, deep V neckline, and exaggerated sleeves, we think she looked like a 21st century royal. Number 6. Sara Sampaio Portuguese model Sara Sampaio brought her A-game to several Cannes events this year. At the Amphar Gala, she wore a simple yet dramatic Armani ball gown with a strapless neckline and an over-the-top feathered skirt. She also looked like a princess at the screening of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood when she wore an apricot orange Georges Obeka gown in a similar silhouette. And at the screening of Rocket Man, she wore a thematically on-point silver suit with exaggerated lapels and a matching train, which Sir Elton John definitely would have approved of. Number 5. Helen Mirren Dame Helen Mirren always proves that great fashion knows no age limit, and her appearance at Cannes this year was no exception. When she walked the red carpet at a screening of Les Plus Belles Années d'une Vie, she wore a lovely rose Ely Saab gown with full sleeves and an asymmetrical neckline. The entire dress was embellished with metallic material as well as beading near the neckline. But what really put her look over the top was her dyed pink hair, which coordinated with the ensemble and added an undeniably youthful edge to her outfit. Number 4. Priyanka Chopra Lots of major stars hit the red carpet for a screening of Rocket Man, and newlywed Priyanka Chopra was just one of them. She wore a stunning Roberto Cavalli couture dress with an interesting pattern of embellishment. The gown was mostly an inky, scintillating black, but in the middle it faded into an ombre of pale pinks and reds. The color of her lipstick was subtle, but coordinated perfectly. She also made an appearance with her hubby Nick Jonas for a screening of Les Plus Belles Années d'une Vie in a white Georges Obeka gown that made her look like a bride all over again. Number 3. Kendall Jenner One of the most spectacular gowns of this festival was worn by one of the world's most famous faces, Kendall Jenner. And while most of the outfits we saw on the Cannes red carpets probably cost much more than your monthly rent, this one is actually a collaboration between designer Jean-Baptiste Valli and H&M. The frothy pink number featured multiple layers in an eye-catching hue, and the cutout silhouette, which put Jenner's legs on display, stopped it from being too one-note. 
The collection will hit stores in November of 2019, and you'll have a chance to own this dress yourself. Number 2. Eva Longoria Some celebs made our list for one notable look, and others for consistently bringing it throughout the entire festival. Eva Longoria actually wore two very similar dresses to different Cannes events. For the festival's opening ceremonies and the premiere of The Dead Don't Die, she wore a one-shoulder gown by Alberta Ferretti, which played with different materials – a pink satin and a heavy metallic. She opted for a similar neckline and metallic a second time for a screening of Rocket Man, where she looked statuesque in a full-on glitzy gown. Then at the Amphar Can Gala, she wore Ferretti again, this time a white satin gown with a strapless neckline and a unique high-low hemline. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Elle Fanning She may be only 21 years old, but Elle Fanning stole the show at Cannes this year. Leaning into a modern princess vibe for this festival, she appeared in a number of beautiful feminine gowns at several events. For the festival's opening ceremony, she wore red lipstick and a caped Gucci dress with floral detailing at the waist. At the screening for Les Miserables, she chose a floral Valentino dress, with flowing flutter sleeves paired with a braided crown. For the premiere of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, she went old-school vintage in Dior, a look we still can't get over. And for the closing ceremony, she sported perhaps her best look yet, a full-on fairy tale in a beaded ream aqua gown with a sheer cape. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.